Hey, what's going on? It's Hicks Uncensored. I'm back with another one. I want to show y'all guys this video of these two teenagers, one of which is a girl, the other one is a boy. And I want to break down some things that could be taken away from this. Teenagers need to hear this information of what I'm about to give, but not just teenagers, adults as well. You're about to see exactly what happens when you can't control your emotion. So they come up to the vehicle. You have your license, I do have my license. The female is driving. Black male in the passenger seat. You guys turned out, you made an improper right. Improper right? Yep. An improper right is when you basically make a right hand turn. And yeah, I know exactly. You're about to see exactly what happens, as I mentioned before, when you allow how you feel to dictate and have total control over what you do. When you don't stop and take the time to think through shit, you're going to allow your emotions to make a complete fool out of you. It's going to eradicate your ability to think logically. Do you have a, do you have a medical marijuana card? I don't have a medical marijuana card. No, I wasn't driving illegal. They out here driving, smoking weed. We, we drove by. I'm gonna touch on that in just a bit. You're about to see how a situation can go from bad to worse. He told them to step out of the car. He smells marijuana, right? Many of you out there, you smoke too much fucking weed. When you wake up in the morning, you smoking weed. When you're hanging out me a day, you smoking weed. When you leave the store, you're smoking weed. When you go to the store, you're smoking weed. You always smell like weed. So now that you've got yourself in a vehicle, if you ever get pulled over, that just gives them probable cause for whatever it is they want to do. Step out of the car. Now he's asking you to step out of the car. Pull you out. Yeah, the car just want me to smell weed and they're trying to pull me out from being like, like it talks and some stuff. Stay smoking that damn weed. Step out. You stay high. You stay smelling like yeah, weed. Step out of the car. So I watch her. Right. Come over here. What, what's the yeah. And let me tell you something too, right after this. Yeah, I'm about to grab you. Don't you step out of the don't car. You dare touch me. Don't you dare touch me. This is the type of mentality that they're growing up with, that they have grown up with. This mentality of, I don't have to listen. I don't have to do what you say. I don't have to respect authority. Even when I'm in the position that I'm going to have to comply, I'm not gonna do it. Which is gonna lead to you being in more trouble. Don't you dare touch me. Don't you dare. See, everybody wants to be tough and hard until they're put in that position to actually have to really live the shit that they've been saying out their mouth. You sound real tough. You talk real tough. But let's see how these people will act in the circumstances. I'll tell you how they act. They act like little bitches. Follow me here. I'm on to something. Now she's sitting here crying. And let me tell you something about this dude right here holding this camera. Because this video is mainly about him with his dumb ass. He has a gun on him right now. And the police is going to find that later on in the video. He knows he has a gun on him. This is my thing. If you know that you're engaging in something illegal, then it would behoove you, it would be wise of you to do everything you can do so that you can avoid any attention from police officers. He knows he has an illegal gun on him right now as he's holding that camera and he's still making a scene. See what I would have done, I would just walk my ass over there on the sidewalk and just sat there and kept quiet. I would not made a scene. I would have been doing everything that I can do so that I can make it out of there and cruise under the radar so that I don't get caught with that firearm on me. Watch what he does. What's your badge number? Hey, get back. What's your badge number? Back. You want to go to jail too? Right. Get on the sidewalk. Okay. Just stand okay. here. All he had to do was stand his ass on that sidewalk, keep quiet, let them do what they doing. He was a passenger. They probably would have let him go. You never know, but they was smoking weed. I can tell you that for sure. I know how these little motherfuckers be doing. They stay high. They stay high, which is another thing. Stop 
getting high all the damn time and then getting your ass into a vehicle, you never know if you're gonna be pulled over or not. And when you are pulled over, like I mentioned before, that's just gonna get a police probable cause to do whatever they think they need to do. She was hard a minute ago, but she's a female, so I can understand her breaking down and crying and being emotional. I can understand that. So they take her and they put her ass in the back of the car. This bastard here won't sit still. Watch this. See, if you put your hands on me, I'm putting my hands on you. Do you see the, the, this cowardly-like behavior that a lot of people have I see in society? You have a gun on you right now. If I was you, I would not be threatening a police officer. I would not be doing anything that would make them wanna search me or make them wanna arrest me. Because if they arrest me, then surely they're gonna search me. But he wanna stand here and talk shit. Instead of complying, he wants to reply with nonsense. I'm telling you people, when you do dumb shit, you're going to put yourself in a worse position than what you would have been in to begin with. No Stop walking away. That fucking Walk See, he want to yell. He want to curse. He want to be belligerent. I'm going to play it in just a moment, but I got to give y'all this wordplay so that you can understand what I'm talking about. You got a lot of these little punk ass little boys. They're overly emotional. They're impulsive. They're feminine as hell. And in many times, they're more emotional than these females are. When you have these little boys like this, most likely he was, I, I can pretty much guarantee you, he wasn't raised by a man, an actual man who would have taught him how to be in control of his emotions and not allow his feelings and how he feels to be in control of him. I can tell with his mannerisms, I can tell with his body language, I can tell with the way he acted. You're about to see what I'm talking about. See, this is this punk ass behavior. This punk bitch ass behavior. He's feminine as hell. He's emotional as hell. His emotions and his feelings is taking complete control of him. It's only gonna get worse. Every second that passed by in this video is gonna get worse and worse and worse. I'ma take this back and I'ma rewind it. Check this out. Don't, do not I no to touch you. I'm putting my hand okay. And how do you think that's gonna go? How do you think that's gonna go if you decide to put your hands on a police officer and try to fight him? How do you think that's gonna go? Go for you and see these are the things that I would teach to my son you must not you cannot allow your feelings to have complete control over you not even a little bit you have to have complete control over how you feel it don't matter what situation you're going through no stop walking away that Walk look at this dog. Wow, really? Punk ass. I'm telling you right now, he grew up watching the women in his family or his mother do all of that feminine ass yelling and screaming. I'm telling you, I know what I'm talking about. A lot of these little boys, they grew up in these single parent homes under their mother, and they saw their mother growing up. You know, as they grew up, they saw their mother screaming and yelling just like that, being impulsive. Because men, they teach their sons, they rear their sons, and a man of intelligence, a knowledgeable man would have taught his son how to deal with certain situations, how to deal with certain encounters. Why are you telling me to do different stuff, you dumbass? And they think they think calling the police officer a rookie, they think that that's like a big insult or something. Now he got his ass arrested. Now he's about to be arrested. We don't even know if they were going to arrest him or not. They arrested the driver. 
had he probably behaved himself, had he probably showed manners and been kind and see, you'd be surprised how far showing respect can get you. You would be surprised at how far being respectful will get you. They, they probably wasn't even gonna arrest them. If they had to tow the vehicle, they probably would have towed the vehicle. You never know. They might even let them drive it, but you, we don't know. But he clowning. Now they about to arrest his ass. I'm not going nowhere. I'm staying on this no. See? <laughs> she crying in the back seat. I'm not moving. I'm, I'm not doing nothing. I'm not moving. I'm staying on the punk ass little boy. You could have avoided all of this. I can talk like this. I've been 16 years old and I was arrested and I didn't act like this. I'm not doing nothing. I'm not doing anything. I'm not doing okay. See, I hate this kind of nonsense and society never wants to talk about what's right in front of your damn face. He acting a damn fool. He's screaming that he's not doing anything all while resisting arrest and not complying. Boy, I tell you. Oh, stop. Bro, I'm not doing nothing. I'm not doing nothing. I'm not doing anything. This is the same little boy that was just talking shit. This is the same little boy who was just being hard, being tough. It's the same one, but now that he's down on the ground, he whining like a little bitch. And this is what we see all the time. See, on this channel here, you're not really gonna get people who talk how I'm talking right now because it's very offensive. The truth is very offensive. <laughs> they wouldn't even have to do all of this if he'd simply just put his hands behind his back. But the reason that he don't wanna put his hands behind his back, he knows he has a gun on him, and later on, one of the officers, they're gonna find it. Oh, your hands! Oh! Get on the Damn fool. You make people wanna rough you up. You make the police wanna be more rough with you. Stop! 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 Stop. Okay, stop reaching. Okay, stop, stop. Let go of your hands. This shit, it, it just, it goes against the grain of logic. It really does. It goes against the grain of logic. You want to be on the ground, tussle with the police. You want to act the fool. You don't want to comply. You want to be emotional as hell, all while saying, I think my arm's about to break. My arm hurts. Well, stop acting a damn fool. It's just crazy to me to see things like this. Oh, your hands. I let go of your hands. Won't let go of the damn phone. Nothing. Stop. You all on the ground. In the dirt. You want to scream and yell. You were just being a gangster a couple minutes ago. You was the biggest thug a couple minutes ago. You was the biggest hard ass a couple minutes ago. Now you screaming on the damn ground like a little bitch. That's what it is. That's what it is. Help you. Help yourself. Dude, just stop. Give us your hands. This is goofy. I said it. I said it. Just out there clowning. Another officer comes up on scene. You're yelling and screaming. Nothing's really wrong with you. Did this shit? Did this? This is like some shit out of a a comedy movie. Just clowning. It's like stereotypical almost. Just, you clowning. You being a fool. You yelling. You screaming. You talking about your elbow hurt. Your arm hurt. All, look, it, it just gets worse. I 
I can't breathe. I literally have asthma. I can't breathe. Well, the logical thing would be if you know you have asthma, let's not get ourselves in a situation to where we could be tussling and breathing hard. How about that? I'm telling you, people don't think. You could say, well, he's young. You can say, well, he's just a teenager. You can find people in their 30s and 40s doing this same dumb ass shit. Get him water, 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 water. Stop. Water. Sit up. Sit up. Bring your feet. Oh, ow. Ow. Oh. 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 Get up. 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 Get Oh, what the my hell? See, let me tell you what these people be doing. They're upset. They're upset because they know that they're about to be caught doing whatever it was that they that, that was illegal. He knows that they're about to find that gun on him. He knows that that's coming. It's a matter of time until they find that gun in his pants between his legs. And he knows that. So he's putting on a show. He clowning, he being a buffoon, he yelling, he screaming. He talking about he can't breathe. He talking about his arm hurt. He acting a comp. This is a joke. If my son be, I would be so disappointed. I would be embarrassed. I'd be disappointed. I would grill my son for years to come if my son ever behaved like this. Dude, why does it feel like that? I think my arm broken. You think your arm my broken? Is broken. He's not, I think he's got zero. See? Don't grab it. Here, they're about to find it. Now here's his mother. Found the gun. See? His mother do the same yelling, like, I'm telling you. Now we know that people could be upset and you know emotions run high, but at some point, there has to be some kind of control over them. This is crazy. You do not, that's not- Back up or you will get cuffed too. Mom. He knew the entire time that he had a gun on him and he still chose to act a fool, cause a bunch of attention to himself and get his ass arrested. I'm telling you, people do shit that defies logic. It just defies logic. If I, I'm gonna speak for myself. If I know that I'm carrying an illegal gun with the way that I think, and I'm pulled over by the police, and I'm a passenger, I'm going to do everything to not cause more attention to myself. I'm gonna be respectful, I'm gonna be pleasant, I'm gonna be cooperative, in hopes that, hey, they might not even search me, I'm a passenger, they might just tow the vehicle and send me on my way. Why would I act a fool curse out the police, threaten them, not comply. Do, he, he did everything that would make a cop want to arrest his ass. Hey, Come on. I did nothing. You did nothing. Oh. <laughs> These people are crazy, man. Oh, no. They crazy. No, stay back. Oh. No, no, no. 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 Wait, I care. We'll deal with it in a Mr. Gangster. I cannot stand, ever since I was a teenager, I can't stand these little bitch ass, punk ass little boys. I can't stand it. It irks my nerve. I can't stand that shit. I really can't. Now he's about to be charged with a felony. He's about to be charged with resisting arrest. People will create bad circumstances for themselves and blame everybody but them. They will literally make 
a bad situation for themselves and then blame other people for why they're going through the troubles that they're going through. This Hicks Uncensored. If you like what I talk about, if you like the videos that I show you, go ahead and subscribe because I got all types of things that I'm gonna be showing you guys talking about and just giving game on. Press like on the video. Peace.